What's the most random country you can think of? Well, I bet with Ethan with that guess, and any other guesses, I bet you can't guess the country that I'm thinking of. Okay, you probably can because of the title, but the country that I'm thinking of is Tokelu. I found this country because I was randomly scrolling around the Pacific Ocean one day, very bored, and I found Tokelu. I thought it was a random island, but then I found the little towns. I looked it up and realized how cool of a country was, and decided to make on a video. These islands are the fifth smallest country in the world, consisting of three atolls or three little rings of islands, island or island, having a total population of only 1,491 in the 2016 census. The country only has a total GDP of $10 million. This country, while small, has an intriguing history that you have to hear about. Anyways, before we go on with the video, this took lots of time, so just two hours of scripting, one for recording, five of editing, and it would be awesome if you could sub and watch the video, because it would help me stay motivated. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Tokelu was settled a thousand years ago by Polynesian immigrants. Because of that, the culture was a melting pot, almost like a little America. The three atolls which are called Fakaofo, Atufu, Nokanona. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce those. I'll probably not be able to pronounce those for the rest of the video, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, they acted as if they were independent from each other, which sometimes caused disagreements between uh, the atolls. When it came down to it, though, Atufu was the most powerful of the islands, like the ruler. The islands had a big problem, though, as there was literally no soil on the islands, so they couldn't make any vegetables or fruits or anything to sustain them, so instead they had to, f to live off fish and coconuts. There weren't many options. Tukulu functioned by itself, like a little world in the middle of nowhere, unaware of the outside world. Until 1765. John Brin, doing some real-life version of scrolling around in Google Maps, found Atufu. He was the first of the British invasion. Edward... Edwards found... That is a really stupid name, jeez. <laughs> Sailed on and found Nokanunu. Next up, another nosy dude found Fakaofo. Okay, again, <laughs> I'm just gonna not be able to pronounce these, sorry. Good, just Western society, you did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Western society, you found them. It does get a little bit crazy after that. Christianity was introduced, resources were brought on ships, the French tried to introduce Catholicity, Peruvian slave ships took all the able bodied men, nearly all of them, 252 in total, which out of the probably like thousand population, because this is a little bit back, there was that 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 was a very big dent into the um the population and the workers there, so it really brought the country down on its knees. Uh, they all died on the way to um the where the slave ship was taking them, and then uh only a few ever returned. These losses also included all their political uh, leaders, so they changed their system to be more of a council of elders kind of thing, so like a little bit more democratic than just a few men just kind of talking together. Um, it was made a British procreate in 1889, but Sneak in America couldn't wrap its head around that until 17 or 1979, thinking that Tokelu was his colony the whole time. Yeah, we're a bunch of thickheads over here. <laughs> in 1926, England got bored of it and instead gave it to New Zealand, which cemented that if you have a problem, give it to someone else. True. Do it. If we're all it is ruled by New Zealand, it basically does it all itself with only little amounts of interference by New Zealand. Nowadays, Tokelu is kind of a normal sort of country, just really small in the middle of nowhere, and only has 1,500 people living on it, which makes it pretty not normal, I guess. 
But even there, they still have a lot of things that we don't. They were the first ch- country to have 100% solar power. While Ireland does have that, um, I don't think it counts for some reason. Uh, they have it for every single building in the country. And it was achieved back in ni- or in uh, 2012. They only have three total electrical stations that output the energy for the whole country. One for each island. There are only three hospitals and three schools. One per island. You see in a pattern here. In 2007, they actually ran out of actual doctors, so they had to appoint part-time people to do it instead. They're the 23rd member of the Oceania Table Tennis Fountain. Federation, which I thought pretty funny. <laughs> they won three gold medals in the 2007 Pacific Games, which Viol- Violina Pedro, I'm sorry, mispronounce, carrying with two out of the three gold medals. The Tokelu Games are held every year, and they're basically the big sporting event of the year. Tokelu makes most of its money through um, fishing, coconuts, and Woodwork, plated graph goods, stamps, and coins. As you can see, it isn't the most resource bountiful island, excluding fishing. So a lot of residents work in New Zealand, sending home money um, each month and going over there, usually only around Christmas. There's also a lot of students that go to New Zealand just to kind of, uh, there's more opportunities over there. I guess there is only three schools in the whole country, so they probably have to go over there for a good schooling. Um, and there isn't much opportunity in Togolu to support, so it's kind of dying off. It's kind of like the Japanese mountains kind of out there, like the ruler, rural, rural cities. There's a lot of new, there's a lot of young people moving to the cities or the other country or something. Just because there's not a lot of opportunity in Tokelu. Um, and so they kind of have to move to have a life, really. All in all, Tokelu is a normal country, but it's very interesting because of its size and location. It really shows that people can bloom even in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, or basically anywhere. Tokelu is for the people who like the feeling of isolation. And they can deal with that. They thrive out there. And they live just like us, just but just in the middle of nowhere. They're like the people on the ISS, or the people at the bottom of the ocean. They innovate what it means to live somewhere. They live differently than the U.S., but they still have the same human needs and the wants what we books, do. As I, don't have the other three. I hope I have educated you I'm not reading the, the real books, but of Tukulu, and taught you about his rich history. Anyways, that's the end of this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, watch any other videos, and I will see you later. Have a great day. See ya.